An archbishop in Australia says the church is determined to do better on dealing with clergy sex abuse. We are realistic about the ways we've failed young people. Uh, I mentioned the, the whole abuse crisis, but there are other places where our evangelization, our catechesis, our liturgy, one way or another have, have shut people out rather than attracting young people and persuading young people. Archbishop Anthony Fisher of Sydney stressed he sees great hope in this synod among young people. He spoke today at a press conference at the Holy See Press Office. J.D. Flynn is editor-in-chief of Catholic News Agency. He joins us now from Rome. J.D., how has the sexual abuse crisis in the church been addressed so far at this synod? Mark, we're, um, we're, we're not privileged, of course, to everything that's going on inside the synod hall. So we don't know what every bishop has said. Um, but we do know that some bishops have raised the sexual abuse crisis in the short speeches that they give during the synod's proceedings. This morning, Archbishop Anthony Fisher um, began his speech with an apology for the ways in which the church has failed to handle the sexual abuse crisis. Archbishop Charles Shapio of Philadelphia raised that issue in his speech. And Bishop Frank Caggiano of the Diocese of Bridgeport, Connecticut, um, raised that issue um, I I at the very first uh, thing he said in his speech, his intervention. He said that if the church wants to gain the trust of young people and regain the trust of young people who, who largely don't trust large institutions, then she has to address the sexual abuse crisis during the synod, and then she has to um, credibly dis respond to, to the ways in which she'll resolve it. So we know that some bishops are raising the issue. Uh, many people I've spoken with have said that the question still remains whether the Vatican understands this to be uh, a problem of the urgency and, and, and gravity that we in America perceive it to be. Um, and, and so we're waiting to see how, um, how the, the factor of the Vatican bishops and bishops from around the world will, um, will factor into what the American bishops which are, are asking for, which seems to be that the, the Synod uh, clearly address the sexual abuse crisis. And so I guess the next question is, how do you think this issue will shape the Synod document that's going to come out of this? Yeah, that's, um, that's something we're still waiting to, to find out. But we do know that um, the synod document is, um, uh, comes about through um, the speeches that the bishops give and through the language working groups that they'll enter into uh, probably next week. But uh, last night at an event, B Bishop uh, Robert Barron, Auxiliary Bishop of Los Angeles, um, I I indicated that, um, in his view at least, um, a, a lot of uh, the elements that we'll find in the synod document have already been addressed in the instrumentum laboris, the working document of the synod. Bishop Barron said that um, yeah, it's his expectation that that will at least be the, the, the framework for the synod document that we shouldn't expect a major surprise. So there are ways in which the sexual abuse crisis can be worked into that document, but I don't think that we should expect it to be the focus of whatever comes out of the synod. And, and after the last synod in 2015 on family, the media focused on divorced and remarried Catholics receiving communion. So again, what do you think the main takeaway will be uh, from the synod? The, the real debate in this synod, as most people understand it, is going to be uh, a discussion about how the church describes Catholics who are experiencing same-sex attraction, um, whether the church um, uh, validates the language of LGBT Catholics or whether the church continues with the, the traditional language used in the Catechism of the Catholic Church and other documents. So a, a, lot, of the, a lot of the debate will not be about um, the pastoral um, respect and compassion and sensitivity oh due, um, due to persons with same-sex attraction, but, but about the language the church uses and how that reflects Christian anthropology. Uh, that, that'll be the controversial issue. That'll be what we'll look for in addition to questions about the sex abuse crisis and, um, and then just continued discussion about uh, pastoral programs. Pope Francis has said that he wants the synod document to, uh, to offer concrete pastoral uh, programs and initiatives. Usually synod documents don't do that. For the most part, they tend to be theoretical, but we'll, we'll see what happens with this one. Okay, J.D. Flynn, Editor-in-Chief of Catholic News Agency, thanks for speaking with us. Thanks a lot.